A thread by Carlos Osuita for C. Bass Neely, Mr. Doubtfire, who tweets, they won't vote for Trump because Trump hasn't really delivered on his signature issues. Carlos responds, this is what happens when you uncritically swallow the media narrative about Donald Trump. It's absolutely bizarre how many people are impervious to the notion that Trump endlessly fools the world. Trump has exceeded what he promised on his signature issues. And he tells you over and over and over. Let's take the border wall. What did Trump promise? Quote, the 18 foot tall fence, the first piece of border wall built directly on the shores of the river in the Rio Grande Valley has become a flashpoint in the race to meet President Donald Trump's campaign promise of about 450 miles of new wall. TexasTribune.org, eroding private border wall to get an engineering inspection, dot, dot, dot. What does Trump say? Trump tweets, I disagreed with doing this very small, tiny section of wall in a tricky area by a private group which raised money by ads. It was only done to make me look bad and perhaps it now doesn't even work. Should have been built like rest of wall, 500 plus miles. What does the US Border Patrol say? But what about DHS? No idea. Obviously, Trump figured out a way to distract everyone except for the Border Patrol and me from the real story. Here's what I do. I never second guess. Apparently, people, I don't know that the concept of trust is anymore. Spouses cheat on you. Does that mean all spouses cheat on you? Is it necessary to question your spouse every single day based on something Don Lemon said? Why are you listening to Don Lemon? If you insist on continuing to believe people who you know are liars, you're insane, and you get exactly what you deserve. I don't check every single thing Trump says. Much of what he says is strategic deception and distraction. You are letting Don Lemon control you. Rick Wilson may as well be in your bed with you every night, whispering in your ear. If you let Rick Wilson into your bed, you deserve everything you get. In World War II, Americans laughed at Rick Wilson. Back then, he was known as Lord Haw Haw and Tokyo Rose. It's because Americans knew that they were enemy propagandists. In order for you to win, you can't be weak. You can't be lily-livered. You can't be panty waists. I sure hope you're right. Every time I hear that, I want to vomit. People who say that they have done, people who say that have done no original research. They're afraid, but they have done no original research to try to figure out what's really happening. When I first started having rotational vertigo attacks, I went on the computer between bouts of projectile vomiting. Here's what it felt like. You're sitting in a chair, spinning on every possible axis with a sandbag on your chest and a pair of hands pushing you by the shoulders down into the chair. Lying down doesn't help. So I narrowed it down to a horrifying, incurable affliction called Meniere's disease. I went to an ear, nose, and throat specialist and described my symptoms. I can handle anything except Meniere's disease, I said. It's Meniere's disease, he told me. You've described the symptoms perfectly. I don't even have to test you. And that was that. I actually laughed, and so did he. We began my treatment, and I knew, knew I'd be one of the rare chronics, which I am. So what? I was already a hermit and I've already traveled the world and the seven seas. Fear has a biological function. It induces the fight or flight instinct. It's supposed to help you survive, not curl up and die passively. If you share your bed with Don Lemon and Rick Wilson, don't 
even engage me. You're a battered spouse, not my problem. And fear is contagious. Your addiction to Don and Rick spreads in my comments and it makes me angry. Go somewhere else with your defeatism. We win here. So we don't want to hear from scared little bunnies.